Yo yo, I think we are live. Hello, hello. What is going on? Hope everyone's having a good one. We got a pretty big one uh, on this one. Uh, we still have to get into our weekly haul. Yeah, we do have a lot to show. Yeah, like this is. So this is just the new. Yeah. Uh, from just this past new comic book day. Mm -hmm. And then this is the quarter bin from, uh, yeah, these are all quarter bin. Well, no, I think there was a couple that probably, that might, that probably weren't. We did get them on your comic book day, though. Yeah, but we did get them on new comic book day. A lot of them were, comic, or were most of them were quarter bin. Some were, um, I think, like two or three bucks, maybe. Um, the three here on the top, there were ones that I was debating on taking to the Jim Lee signing that we actually just got back from yes. not that long ago. It was awesome. Which was incredible. Even even waiting in out in the cold for how long do you think we wait? How long did we wait? From four, 3.54 to 5.30 something. Yeah, cause we, well, yeah, cause we, we, we finally made it inside around like 6 I think. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, because it was like five forty-five by the time we were like the next five people to go in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we were outside. Yeah, we waited for about two hours probably. Yeah. Um, but it didn't seem like it was that long. I mean, we actually met some pretty cool people in line in front of us. Um, so we were pretty much talking the whole time, and yeah, they were really nice. It was awesome talking with them and just chatting and talking about some of our favorite writers and how we thought it was so cool that. He was coming out, that Jim Lee was coming out to the signing. and Just random, too. And I, I guess we ended up finding out what it is, is that Jim Lee's people actually reached out to Dave, the owner of Dr. Bolt's, our LCS. Yeah. And it was actually Jim Lee's people that reached out to him and said, hey, he's going to be in town, you know, wants to do a signing there. So, and that's kind of yeah. what it ha how it happened. And he... Uh, I think he was going to be there for just like an hour and a half, just kind of like a short thing. Um, five to six thirty. Five to six thirty, yeah, was the thing. Uh, the guy in front of us was saying, I guess, I guess he has some, some sort of family or something in town, and I guess he kind of comes into town. A, a bit, I guess. I don't know yeah. from what it sounded like. So. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was interesting. Yeah. So yeah. yeah so we'll get into that too with. Uh, they're back there. I'll have to grab them when we get into them. Yes, we'll get there. And then we also have a couple, uh, couple mail calls that that showed up. Uh, these are, yeah, we have one from Midtown. It's just one book too, and I'm really stoked for that because I think it's that. Uh, I'm actually really stoked for it too because I think it is the one that you were telling me about that we've actually seen on other streams. Mm -hmm. But the video of it just doesn't do it justice. So it's going to be nice to see it in person. Yeah, uh, D Comic Queen, mm -hmm. she had one in hers, right? And I think she yeah. actually got hers from Midtown too, didn't she? I think it was from you in the same place. It might have been, I think so. And then this one, that's just one book. So we got a pretty killer, much like another Omni. Yeah. yeah, we got a killer deal on an Omni. Yeah, on so. Omni. Omni. So, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think we should do the mail calls first, or...? You're the boss. The hall. Hmm. We can do the mail calls first. Yeah, probably the mail calls since, yeah, yeah. since we opened. So, let's just do this one since this is the one that was in my hand. Yeah. You uh, might need to grab your knife. Yeah. Just to... Just to be safe. With yeah. me and knives normally is it safe. You're safer with them than I am. Sometimes. Sometimes. That is okay. good. Yeah. This is actually a lot bigger. All right. The box was kind of a little dinged in some spots, so yeah, it did get kind of. Look at that. Ah. Ouch. Oh. Not too bad, but. It did get a little, little bite taken out of it. It's still good though, right yeah. on the inside, I'm sure. 
Ah, uh, there too. Yeah. We could tape that. Just put a piece of tape. Yeah, we're just going to have to be... I mean, not even really have to be careful with it because it gets still... But Spawn Compendium, number one. Oh, so stoked on this. Uh, and I think it's the first, yes, yeah, Spawn, uh, collect Spawn issues one through 50. So it's the mm -hmm. first 50 uh, collaborations with Greg Capullo, Alan Moore, Dave Sim, Mark Silvestri, Frank Miller, Grant Morrison. Uh, and I believe, yeah, and it's all in black and white. That's awesome. That's awesome, right? Like, it's all... Yeah. I think this is the first edition, too, of the all in black and white. Uh, it might be. You would know more. I'm still stoked on this. It does suck that it did get... Dinged up on that A couple of things. Like, I don't know if this will really be... See, not too major. Although, I have seen worse at work that they may not can be considered damaged so it's still good because yeah. there was one where i was selling an item and the one that was already in the bin it's like cover was torn and it was probably going to be yeah. damaged but and this one wasn't the midtown one which i hear people complaining i mean i have heard people have some issues before but not too many issues um, though I can't remember where, this, where that one came from, but, um... It's so big. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was FedEx, that FedEx Express or whatever, I guess, you know, that handled it, but... I mean, yeah, there was literally no other, like, padding or anything. It was literally just this. Yeah. And we know how they... Throw that crap around. So I don't know. I'm still stoked on it. It's still an issue. Oh yeah, but we got to mention what that was too. So we paid majority of that with a gift card, and mm -hmm. uh, it was like forty bucks either anyway, or forty bucks anyways. But then like with what we had left on a gift card, we only had to pay like six or seven bucks. So pretty much got the spawn for Compendium One for six or seven bucks. Pretty much. That usually sells for fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah, so see, even that 40 bucks that it was, was even a killer deal before. We only spent seven. Seven. Of our own money. And that's like even counting shipping, I think. Mm -hmm. I need to be careful Gift not to cards, too they are free. Yeah. They help out a lot, you know, especially when they're the Visa kind, and you can spend them anywhere. That's, that's when they really are perfect. Yep, exactly. As you can tell by our Deadpool sheets. I'm proud of you. You're cutting away from yourself instead of hook yourself. But I, I know. don't know I'm just if you want to cut that. I, I'm just seeing where it is so I don't go in there too far. Maybe I should do that. You're kind of scaring me. I want you to cut the book. Yeah, I know. I probably... <laughs> No uh-ohs. But it is a good start to a good weekend. Yes. This is really cool though. I know, I'm, I'm really stoked on that. First, yeah, first 50. Mm -hmm. So the first, and I think, it, yeah, and I think it's really cool with how it's uh, like all black and black and white. Collect spawn issues one through fifty. Okay, so this one actually did have a little bit more padding than this one. And this one is actually my first time ordering anything through Midtown. And I just did it really spur of the moment, really fast. Um, and then you forgot to tell me until a couple of days later. It's like, oh yeah, by the way. And I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, and it was... It's perfectly fine though. I'm actually just, glad that you did. Yeah, it was just one book. God. This is exactly why I did it. Because I wasn't able to come across this uh, 
it crossed this B cover when it came out, which wasn't that long ago. Just a couple weeks ago, I think. But, uh, yeah, just a couple weeks. That Madman Matina, again, killing mm -hmm. it. Batman 61, B cover, like, this thing. Yeah, I agree. The video, like, the, the picture on the phone or the computer doesn't do it justice. Yes. Yeah. I knew this was going to be one of those covers that you have to see in person to truly get really, the Yeah, oomph. truly get it. The oomph. Yeah, this is stuff. a... Yeah, perfect, too. I think it's... Yeah, I'm so stoked on that. That one's going to go top-loaded and go up with the rest of the Matinas. Mm -hmm. This is like... This still did technically come out in 2018, right? Because it, it didn't come out in 20... Oh, yeah, because we've only had one new comic book day, and it wasn't this last one, right? So... Right. Yeah, this one made it in by the skin of its teeth at a mm -hmm. uh, cover of the year. <laughs> right at the end of the year, probably. Right. God, it's so beautiful. I mean, yeah, it's right up there for cover of the year. We're going to have to do, like, a, an episode or something, you know, that's, like, you know, cover of the year and maybe, like, our favorite book. I mean, we kind of haven't really done... Uh, we haven't really done anything like that. Like, we kind of did some of our favorite... Uh, like, some of our favorite books and stuff that we got. Yeah. And then my narc epilepsy but fell asleep on new year's and wasn't yeah. able to enjoy the video which was kind of a shame but hey i can't oh, help it i worked a full day that's right is this our first this is our first video since my sleeping fiasco where i passed out yeah so because i'm lame yeah so you guys haven't seen her since last year but before new year so yeah this is even our first one on it's new been year a year of the new no, year i'm totally kidding right Sorry. so my puns are quality. Yeah, so, I mean, you might have seen that I was on uh, Jeffrey Comic Con Henson's uh, stream for a little bit, his New Year's stream, which was phenomenal. Like, it was such an amazing time. I highly recommend going back and watching the replay of that. I ended up going back and watching the replay, and I had full intentions, full intentions of being there. But I had also gotten up at, like, 6 o'clock that morning and worked a full 10-hour shift and then ate food. And next thing I knew, my eyes were passed out. Well, my eyes were closed and I was passed out. Before his stream even started. And then and then I jumped in on uh, on the show probably like th three hours in or something. Like, I, I think we, yeah. I think he ended up going like six and a half, just under seven hours or yeah. something. Like Tired hit me like a ton of bricks and I was out. Mm -hmm. And I'm a very deep sleeper, so he did try to wake me up. A few times but repeatedly i i'm just such a deep sleeper and i'm a pain in the butt that way so but hey at least i'm here now and yeah. it's still the start to a good year because i mean jim lee and comics and yeah still more good stuff to come next time i won't pass out it really is there's always another year exactly um what are you reaching for that's what I was trying to decide, like, if we should do the quarter bin before the new ones from the weekly haul, you know, from what we picked up. <laughs> hey, NYC, what's going on, buddy? That's a good question. Hello, hello. Yeah, we're doing good, dude. Thanks for, uh, thanks for dropping by. I hope you're having a good one. I'm thinking... Should we just do these, then these, and those. Because it's new, back, signed. Okay. Or if you want to do these first. All up right. to you. All right. So, so yeah, the first stack we'll do is our new pickups from uh, from this last week's new comic book day. I just figured we'd do more of that because it is, it's our biggest stack out of the next three that we got to show. So we may as well start from the top and work our way down. Not too bad Friday night alone. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we spent it uh, waiting out in the cold a couple hours at the Jim Lee signing. So Yeah, at Dr. Volt's, our local <clears throat> comic book store. Sorry, I got a gnarly It was very cold, but the people were nice, and Jim, yeah, it was, it was incredible. It was, it was awesome, yeah. It was fun. My feet, I can finally feel my feet again. 
Yeah, I'm finally able to fill that. And these we had gotten for New Year's and I passed out, but I'm here now. Yeah, that's what we got for New Year's and you passed out at six and I ended up hanging out on uh, Comic uh, Jeffrey Comic Con stream. I blame that. narcolepsy. All right, so first up on this new week, uh, obviously I'm going to start out with Deadpool number eight. These Nick Klein covers have been pretty dope, uh, pretty much ever since issue five when there was that Garbage Pail Kids cover. Uh, the last couple have been awesome, and, and number seven too. That that last one on number seven, the one with uh, Santa Claus and stuff. Yeah. Um, but I've I've definitely been been liking these last couple. Um. Hey Perry, what's going on, buddy? Seeing Jim Wing, uh, yeah, yeah, that was crazy. He was live streaming on his Instagram, um, yeah, from the signing. Yeah, oh, it yeah. was cool. NY NYC said uh, I couldn't make it past one a one a.m. Eastern. God, yeah. I know. Je I, I, Jeffrey was a I mean, he he crushed it that night, dude. Yeah, he was almost seven six. hours. Seven. Yeah, and see, and that's the thing is, I can't stay up late very often either. I'm old. I know. I'm surprised I made it until I think it was about one o'clock our time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was about that. All right, next. Uh, yeah, Scarlet number five. This this it's... was a five mini, five issue mini, right? But oh no, that... it was Pearl that got added to an ongoing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was Pearl that got added to an ongoing. Uh, Scarlet, I actually jumped on on this five issue mini started reading it and then I read one of the introductories in one of the previews that we grabbed and ended up buying the first and second trade and I was gonna read those before I went back to the issues that I have but this was the fifth one out of a five issue story mini that came out yeah the the two trades we got of it are from the older like original run you know what I wonder though because Jim Lee had uh, live streamed, but remember when we when the sun was still up, it was still kind of bright. There was that guy walking back mm. to every single person, show get a picture of the books you're having signed. Yeah. So I wonder where those are going to end up. Yeah. Instagram, Facebook, Google. Uh, yeah, Comic Books uh, NYC asks, not familiar with it, looks interesting by the cover, what's the story like? That's on Scarlet. Oh, Scarlet? Yeah, Scarlet is really good. It's it's kind of like... She's actually read it a little bit more than I have, so... Yeah, it's... It's kind of, uh... Hmm... Kind of riot? I was gonna say kind like... of kind of post-apocalyptic, but, but, but it's really, like, anti-establishment, like kind of rebels going against the government yeah kind of thing yeah isn't it in portland i believe so yes i think it takes place in portland it's like unfair justice system and yeah I, i'm, like I'm not... trying to keep it spoiler free but yeah. it's like yeah it's good it's it's really good i like it it's i don't know how to explain it without giving it away because <laughs> i i'm really not good at keeping spoilers to myself as you would know so she, it's, yeah yeah she she can be kind of bad at it i would just say check it out it's, it is it's good. good yeah I, I do i do like it it's one of my favorites I, I think i'm uh i think i've only read like the first three i think i'm an issue or two behind yeah i'm actually like several issues behind on everything like we're still getting books every week they come out but i'm literally like three weeks for like a month behind i actually on that last video that I was in that we did, I've actually narrowed down my to-reads from like this to like this. And that's even including the new to-reads from this comic book day. So it's it's still getting there. It's a work in progress. Know. We're hoping to really take a big chunk out of our unread. Mm -hmm. uh, up next we have uh, Action Comics 1006. Uh, so far I've I mean, so far I've been liking uh, Bendis' Superman stuff. I don't think... I mean, it hasn't been, like, mind-blowing or crazy spectacular or anything, but I have been enjoying it. But like I said, I'm also behind a good couple issues, so... Yeah. I gotta catch up on it. There's uh, just not enough time in the day. No matter 
how much you want to do what you want to do. It's just not enough time. Yeah, yeah, like uh, NYC said, yeah, it's hard, honestly. It really is. I mean, really and, is. And, and the weeks go by so fast, you know, it's like new comic book day, like, is rapidly, you know, if it approaches anything, so fast. If anything, my dream would be to find a part-time job that pays enough to just cover all my bills, and then it's part-time, so then, like, I get off at two every day. I'm like, oh, hey, look at that. I still have the rest of the day. I only work five hours. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, NYC. Right. Yeah, we're, we're the same way because, yeah, we also buy trades a lot, too. So, and then trying to read trades. Because, oh, like, yeah. how we got into collecting a year ago, we buy a lot of the older stuff that we missed out on, we buy in trades. Like, For... like all the new 52 era, we've been yeah. we've been buying all that era in trade, trying to read back. Like, like she has, like, the full Batgirl new 52 run in trade, the full Catwoman new 52 run in trade, and... Uh, I've been doing uh, Batman and Detective, and oh, like, there's the those ones. I'm I still haven't gotten to my Saga trade paperback four yet that I'm on because I have to get to my trades before that. But after I read my Saga trades, these are some of the next ones I'm going to go after because, like I said, with Scarlet in the previews, I read the introductory to one of them that I think was either in issue one or it was in one of these, but. I fell in love with the backstory of it and ended up getting Scarlet as the trade paperback. So this is the uh, first one. And it's like, what will the world look like when someone stands up and says enough? See? Mm. And then book two. These two, I haven't even read yet. I'm super stoked to read them. And I'm probably going to wait to read this one till after I read this so that I get a better understanding of the backstory. Yeah. Speaking Sorry. of like trading anyway, stuff, I just wanted to show that. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if you had missed it, but right at the beginning of of, of our stream tonight, we did uh, open two mail calls real quick. Um, and this one, it, it kind of sucks because it did arrive with a little ding knocked out of it. But I'm super stoked on this. The Spawn uh, Compendium Compendium One that collects the first fifty issues. And it, what's cool about this is okay. that it's actually the first time that it's been collected all in black and white. Yeah, it's it's awesome. We got a lot to catch up on. And then uh, Batman 61 Matina variant. It is, it is very, very close Which, to God, impossible. Yeah, that, that thing is... God, that thing is... Whew. Yeah, it's beautiful. But yeah, it's... Tra it's kind of easier to get through trades for me than it is issues but yeah it's easier to fly through them and you read faster than i do too at this point i have more trades to read than i have issues so right. many more trades i still have the batgirl bombshells we have so Sandman, many so many saga scarlet yeah so many i know i'm in over my head i know i can't even think about it it just gets overwhelming uh yeah that 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 cover dude yeah. is like that, the, that batman 61 that's like cover of the year and it snuck right in like right the, at the camera end. doesn't do it justice i think it was the comic queens video that we mm. saw it in when she got it from in town and it's just like seeing it in person it's beautiful it is it's, it's beautiful all right next on uh on our new pickups uh i'm this is the uncanny x-men number eight uh from that i think it's going to be a 10 issue weekly uh, that they're doing leading up into like the new uh, uncanny run mm -hmm. uh, winter soldier number two i have one and two but i haven't started reading it yet um i think it's going to be a mini i think it's like a five or six issue mini yeah the next one we have is raven daughter of darkness i jumped on this one because it was a 12 issue mini series and I actually really kind of like Raven. I mean, I got a Raven rock candy thing from Toys R Us before they closed down. But this one is issue 11 out of the 12. So one more. Yeah. I don't... It's been good. I've, I've liked it. I've been reading so much to read that it's hard to grasp what it was I read in issue 10. That I'll probably go back and read issue 10 before I read this one. Because I vaguely remember. But I've read a lot. Sense well, too, so. 
not only does it get confusing with that because because with how many books we follow but it's also confusing when you get crossover characters in different books so because we yeah. read titans and raven is that you, mm-hmm. I, I can't remember what's going on yeah. in raven and what's going on in titans it's the same thing with reading superman and batman solo titles but then also reading justice league yeah yeah it, so yeah, yeah. It, it can get i'm i'm still stoked for it yeah see there it is but that that one's one of my reads so oh and, and that's actually a yasmin putri cover mm-hmm. on a on a a cover that's a standard uh a cover yasmin putri it is it's beautiful oh perry comics says winter soldier number one was good i like the ending waiting for number two from mid midtown mm-hmm. oh yeah so behind like three weeks so how do they do that? So so do you have like a pull list with Midtown and then I think I've heard don't they send do they send your books like once a month like if you have a pull list with them or uh so yeah, I'm I was just wondering kind of how that works. Cuz uh that Batman 61 I actually ordered from Midtown and that was the first order from Midtown I've ever done but I mean we we have our LCS and stuff so Yeah. Yeah, we don't like we don't have like an online pull list or anything like that. <laughs> um, oh no, no problem, NYC. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a good weekend. We'll we'll talk to you soon. Have a good night, weekend. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank you so much, man. I think I am about three weeks behind too. Yeah, you're on my <laughs> issues anyway. It's not my trades. My trades, I'm like far behind well it, yeah trades it's an, it's impossible to kind trades of trades is a whole different other story yeah. whole different story that is the final one of the mini series all right yeah and so next is it's been good so far uh stranger things number four i think i only read the first one so far i mean have you read i've read the first three i've really liked the first three and number four i'm excited to read that one um but i like it it it's without any spoilers it shows a different insight to stranger things than what was shown on netflix so it's kind of like a behind the scenes type of here's a story from a different view or perspective so yeah, i got there's a, a gnarly runny nose i'm trying to find something to blow my nose i thought i had tissues but yeah what I, it's um the story is an insight from a different perspective than what was shown in the show. It's it's good. Uh, yeah, he's uh, Perry Comics said it's a pull list once a week or bi-weekly or monthly, but the Christmas messed up all the shipping. Bleh, messed all the shipping up. Uh, he did get the previews to get the discount. He, oh, okay. he understands better when he reads it himself, and then I kind of leave some words out, and I'm an airhead. Okay, so so once a week or bi-weekly or monthly. Okay, so you can you know, yeah. Okay, so you can do it either way. That works. I guess it also kind of yeah. depends on the books that you're following, though, too. Like, well, yeah, obviously, when when what books come out, you know, some are yeah, yeah some are uh, twice a month, and yeah. This one, this I'm behind yeah. too. This one I have only read the first one, so I have the second one and the third one to read. But you're following but, all the Sandman universe stuff. Yes. Which I'm still needing to get into. Yes. Yeah. And I am actually really liking Books of Magic more than I thought I would. I I enjoy it, so I'm excited to read that one on my to reads. Uh, I think I I think I'm a couple issues behind on this one as well. But uh, yeah, here's Batgirl thirty. I'm. I'm a really big Batgirl fan. I'm, I'm liking it. This is a pretty dope cover too, and this one was actually on the Key Collector app for what was it? The first appearance of a new villain. Mm-hmm. I don't think they named it in the app, but it just I think it just said first appearance of a new villain. So something to look out for in this one. I think there's a, a new villain popping up. I think up. this one needs to go to my reads before yours because I think I have the last That's why three. I think I've kind of been setting yours here yeah that's that's why i've been setting mine over here yeah you can yeah yeah it's kind of what i was doing because we had actually got all our comics took pictures put them away was gonna read them mm-hmm. and then 
pull them all out for the video. So yeah, yeah we're, this yeah yeah we're still trying to get used to our new routine since that you know now that we uh, create content in YouTube again because we used to you know go on New Comic Book Day, come home, take pictures, you know, back and forth, whatever we post got had to read. do, then post to Instagram and then read. But now we're planning on doing our haul video like on Fridays maybe, but we're trying to Probably. schedule our stuff around other streams so other that we're not like stuff, on at yeah. the same time because we really enjoy watching those other streams like Comics with Dealer and everybody else and in, in the hunt and, and the hunt and, and the comic queen. Yeah, it's it's a work in progress. It Yeah. We'll keep you updated, we'll figure it out. But we're we're our reading cycle is kinda on the fritz. Yeah. Trying to get it all figured out. Mm hmm uh, okay, so yeah, we obviously got uh, Wonder Woman 61 from this week, and we actually got the the Jenny Freeze on B cover here too, but I also have to show, we, we, we had to go back and buy 59 because we missed it somehow when it came out. Which, to a, a surprise to me, I was the one that caught that. Yeah, you, you, well. yeah, you were the one that caught that. So, I'm like never right, so it is kind of weird to be right. So that was the A cover on 61, and here is that some more of that Jenny Freeze Wonder Woman goodness. These, her cover, her cover run has been so good on Wonder Woman. I love the butterflies on this one. I heard something though. I think uh, I think Art Germ is going to be doing a run of uh, Wonder Woman covers coming up, I believe. Mm. So, I'm excited to, to read those, though. Yeah, I am too. Uh, I've only this read... It's beautiful. I've only read the first issue that G. Willow Wilson wrote when when she took over, and I, I, I love that first one. I thought that first one was really good, so I'm stoked to, to read the... Because she's done a couple more now since. Mm-hmm. And here's Marvel continuing with their weird, confusing naming of books. Here's a one-shot continuing the Infinity Wars stuff, but then it's just called like Infinity Wars, Infinity Symbol. Number one. It, it just has the Infinity Symbol, but technically it's Infinity Wars, Infinity, number one. Hmm. God, Marvel's... <sighs> Sometimes they're, yeah, they're naming and sometimes it, it can get confusing. Yeah. Not only can it get, can it get confusing to people who really aren't like super deep into it, but that, that it one. even gets confusing to diehards and lifers at times too. Yeah. Uh, next up we have Tony Stark, Iron Man number seven. Uh, There's so many titles. Can't really remember. Who did the cover on that? That's an in interesting looking cover. Mm -hmm. This this run uh, has been um, has been decent so far. I mean, nothing really crazy, mind blowing. But I'm just seeing what else. Is. That's pretty good. And we were talking about Titans a second ago. I have a lot of the B covers of of our Titans run. Like most of them are, are the are the Didn't B covers. Didn't I already read that one? There's a yeah Titans thirty two. This was a pretty awesome uh, B cover. I did already read it. You did? Yeah, because I read it with Marvel Knights. L Night before last, when I read two books. You know what? I think I might have even read it too. Yeah, Night before last, when I read two books. Cause Does I... this start out with her taking Tempest out of the bar? You just threw off my train of thought. Yeah, I might have to peek at this real quick. You completely threw off my train of thought. <laughs> this is going to bug um, me because I need to see um, if this is... No, mm. never mind. This isn't it. I haven't read this one. That's not the one I I'm thinking though. of. I have, though. You have, though. I, let me see real quick. Yeah, here. I'll put it back. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. I recognize that. Yeah, that was not the one I was thinking of. I'm pretty sure... Yeah. I think I did. So I'm trying to remember when I grabbed it for the show, uh, where it was. I can't remember if it was in your pile or if it was in... Better be damn careful with that. I'm going to be very, very careful with that, sir. All right, Boston. next up. 
we have uh, Flash 61. Um, huge fan of the Flash, and, and I've really been liking the run. This has been really good. I have uh, to look into that. Uh, next up time. is another um, A and B cover, uh, Detective 995. So here's the standard uh, Murder at Wayne Tower. Inching closer to that 1,000. We actually just saw, we just got the solicitations for Batman 1,000. Well, for Detective Comics 1,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm actually pretty stoked that they're going to be doing the the decade, the decades uh, variant covers again, like they did with the uh, Action Comics 1,000. Yeah, and that they, would be cool. They had some dope um, ones. They they did have some really dope ones. There was the 2000s that I really liked, and the... Was it the Bernie Wrights in 70s is the one that I kind of liked the so, most? Yeah, it was the 70s that you liked the most. You know what? I did read this. And if I remember right, it I think... Clicked. It clicked. That, that, that memory link resurfaced, and yeah, I did read it, because these were the two that I read that one night, because I've been trying to get through my reads, and I've read these Wednesday night. When, yeah. All right, and here's the the B cover to Detective 995 by Mark Brooks. That last one on 994. Oh my God, that cover was incredible. This one is pretty dope too. It, it's sick when artists use tones like this. It, like if you look at it, it's literally like all tones of blue. Mm hmm. And white and black. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Obviously, the the deepest parts, you know, are black, but. It's literally like mostly just tones of blue because see it's like deep blues to light blue to white you know it's like all well, shades of blue. It shows the depth and dimension and yeah it's cool. It literally looks like it's like drawn with just like a blue colored pencil almost. Like almost. Remember, remember when I used to do that a lot when I was tattooing remember I would draw in red yeah. pencil? Remember yeah. it would all be in tones of red. I know you were going to do a book that was all red. Oh my red book yeah. And you were going to yeah. do a book that was all blue yeah then a blue so book. maybe that needs to go back on your goal list of 2019 since one of my goal lists of 2019 is to finish my book that i'm in the process of writing well you know yeah that we really want to um yeah get our own book going you know and, i don't yeah. know if that's gonna happen it depends i i need i need to get a start on my actual book that i'm writing so far i have like the prologue is that what it's called I always forget prologue and epilogue. What one's before and after? I think epilogue is after. I think prologue is before. I think prologue is before. Yeah, I have that. I could and be I'm wrong, still working but... on the first chapter. I have so much, but a work in progress. Anyways, it's a goal. Your goal should do the red book and the blue book for the year. Yeah, Perry Comics said, uh, yeah, yeah, that's so cool. I just pre-ordered a few of them and love how they decided to do the variants for the decades of Batman. Yeah, yeah uh, it's, they they're, they're some awesome ones. Was it the forties? So what ones did you pre-order? I'm, I'm I'm curious to see uh, to see what ones you ordered. Was it the fifties one that I really liked? I remember uh, it was the top right hand corner. What, what and there was three, six, nine. The, some of those older ones. There was the really old school Joker one, but I think that was that was the second one. Forties maybe, and yeah, I'd have. What to was look after forties? Well, fifties. It's thirties, forties. I think they started in thirties. Maybe. Because cause when was Batman's first appearance? All right. We just had a little blip there. All right. I think we're just back up there. Um, Sorry. I don't know what that was. Yeah. We've had this happen the last couple. Uh, um, our last couple shows. Like the last one, actually. Um, Tech issues. I don't know if you guys, oh, okay, good, you guys are still there. I was, I was doing comments saying tech issues, but um, I think it was the 50s. Yeah, the I 50s, liked. I remember, yeah, the 50s was good, 70s, there's a lot of dope ones. And, and, and it just sucks because I would, the collector in me obviously would like to get a bunch of them, but they're 10 bucks. But it's, they are. The Supermans were 10 bucks too. I think the Supermans were $7.99. They were a little bit smaller, though. I thought. Because uh, maybe I don't know. This uh, in that solicitations, I think it said the 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 Batman one's going to be like ninety four, ninety six pages or something. It was ninety mm -hmm. something pages. 
Yeah. So they are going to be a little bit bigger. Uh, next up, Marvel Knights number five. This series has been awesome. So good. For the Marvel it's, Knights 20th anniversary. It's been so good. And you totally get my excitement when I was like, you need to read it, you need to read it, you need to read it because of, of, of who's in it. It's good. Okay, yeah, it looks like Perry. It's one of his uh, favorites. Looks like Perry Comics got the '40s one with the Joker. Nice, that one is. So yeah, I like that. That one I think was this middle top row of the previous page we looked at. Then you got the regular cover. the The regular cover, I think. It, I think it's a not a fold out, but a a wrap around, right? I think it's a wrap around. Yeah, I think so. Um, then the jock cover from the 2000s and the Capullo from the 2010s. God, yeah. Those, yeah. Are, those are some killer ones. Those are some really good ones. Uh, next up, I did I finish reading this? I did finish this. I, I did read this this morning, I believe. You did, because I asked you this morning on the way into work. Yeah, and Heroes in Crisis number four. See, this book, okay, this is one of those books, no matter how far I get behind on all my other uh, new books, I will always read this book when it comes out because to try and avoid spoilers you know because mm -hmm. when when it's a book that people kind of talk about a lot or when something major is happening i'll read it i'll just immediately put it right to the front of the line like no matter how far behind i am on everything else yeah because which on... can kind of screw it up because if it crosses over into other ones but well on wednesday when i read marvel nights and then told you you had to read it you said you would read it after you caught up on crisis there was a crisis. And I did read. Marvel this Knights. morning. I did read Marvel Knights Watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot. Yeah. I did read that too. This, yeah. Early morning. This weekend. And this one is probably. I'm going to have to post it on Instagram. But this one. is probably going to be my cover of the week. I think this might even. Uh, overshoot. Uh, uh, that Mark Brooks. Uh, Detective 995. But here's Mortal Hulk number 11, Alex Ross. Uh, Immortal Hulk. Mm -hmm. Crawling out of hell. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. This, that is just wicked. Like, even all the detail... Look at this. All the detail he gets in the back. Mm -hmm. Like, on the on the people in the back. Like, the pillars of people. Like, that... Oh, God. He's so, so nutty. Alright, so that... Yeah, that was it for, for the new books, right? That was... All of them. Yes. So this stack was our quarter bin finds, uh, except the top three. These were the ones that I was just going to take to, I almost took to the Jim Lee signing. Uh, after we go through the quarter bin, we'll, we'll show the books from the signing. Mm -hmm. But I almost took, and I, I kind of really wish I would have. And, and the thing is, is they were only allowing two things to be signed per person, just because he was only there for an hour and a half, and... It was a crazy turnout, and it was crazy it was. because it was yeah. it was so such short notice too. Like it still surpassed Free Comic Book Day by far. Mm -hmm. By far. Uh, so yeah, this is a Punisher War Journal nineteen by Jim Lee. Uh, I I I hunted for this one for a while when I finally found it. That was a yeah. Jim Lee cover I wanted for a long time. Prairie um, Comic Comics left comment. Uh, finally, first person to talk about this. Finally, first person. Oh, first. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, about that Immortal Hulk number eleven. Yeah, finally, the first person. Yeah, to talk about the pillars of people in the back. I know it's crazy all the detail he gets. And it's crazy because you know he he paints his covers. You know they're all they're all painted. Um. There was that awesome. I just we just I just showed Fuchsia that interview that was on Alex Ross on Saturday Morning America or Saturday yeah. CBS Saturday Morning. There's like it a five CBS. minute video on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's incredible. Yeah. And then uh, I I debated between you know the the other uh, these two X Men number one uh, connecting variants, but I ended up taking the limited edition gatefold one that you will see in a little bit. Yes, in a matter of time. All right, so this first one, this wasn't this wasn't in the quarter bin, but I did get this thing for pretty much like a dollar, and mm -hmm. I and I had to get it. It's one of those low grade is better than no grade kind of things. Um, Nostalgic of it all, and honestly, for how old the book is, I actually kind of like it 
the way that it looks. I do too. Because it just looks like it's had a good life. Mm -hmm. That it's like the nostalgia of it adds character to the book itself. And this actually checks off uh, a goal that we had this year to finally get a Silver Age, you know? Because, like I said, we just started collecting again last year, so mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have any Silver Age yet. So this is Daredevil 19, So and it's from 1966, so. And I don't know how good you could tell, but yeah, like, this thing is in rough shape, but I I love how it looks, actually, you know? Like. I'm really stoked on this, actually. And like I said, it was pretty much like a dollar. Yeah, pretty much. Hello, Discovery Bay Comics. Hey, Discovery hi, Bay. Hi. Thank you so much for uh, dropping by, buddy. Yeah, see that I one? It just adds, it adds character because it's like, it just, it looks good the way that it, you know. Yeah. I think it still looks good. I, I like it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, low grade is better than no grade. Yeah, and like I said, you know, we needed to get some... His suit's still red. Some some Silver Age in it. Yeah. It, His suit was still very it's red. It's weird, because parts of it doesn't look that bad. It's literally like, it just looks like it's just been red a thousand times. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, yeah. So then I think the rest of these... Oh, Cheers. Wait. Did I read that right from a distance? I did. Mm -hmm. My eyesight is bad. This one, I think I got for like a dollar or two bucks, maybe. Um, Uncanny X-Men 197, mm -hmm. uh, John Romita Jr. cover. I mean, I'm collecting this run anyways, but I just had to pick this one up on this uh, certain trip because of the, the Doctor Doom. Yes. So Doctor I, Doom. I saw the Doctor Doom sticking out. And... Which I would say is one of your favorites. <laughs> yeah, definitely one of my favorite villains. And then I think the rest of these are all quarter bin now. Yeah. There is... No, they were quarter bin. Never mind. No, yeah, these yeah, are all quarter we're, bin. We're getting there. Yeah. Sorry. My bad. Uh, these are uh, quarter bin from... Dr. Volts. From Dr. Volts, from our LCS. This past Wednesday. The We did the mail Thursday. calls at the very beginning. Let's actually show them the mail calls real quick. The... Well, they're, they're, uh, it, it's actually, it, it's just some stuff I ordered. Um, kind of mail call. I mean, we got it in the mail. The Yeah, we got it yeah in the mail. Spawn number one, compendium. Uh, we ended up getting, since we had a gift card and all this, we, we only paid seven bucks, like, from our end. So, mm. pretty much got, like, the Spawn compendium for seven bucks, pretty much. Collects yeah. the first 50 issues. Uh it's all like black and white. I think it's the first time. I think I read somewhere that it was like the first time collected in all black and white. And then he also ordered this one from Midtown. Yeah, that one came from uh, from Midtown Comics. Yeah. There. I don't know. If, yeah, I think you can see it all. Yeah. And right before you dropped in, we did our new comic book day from this last Wednesday. All our all our new ones. Yeah. Yeah, I love that cover too. That not only is the cover of the year last year, but that's it's seriously one of my favorite covers of all time, probably. It's beautiful. I, it the camera doesn't do it justice. Like seeing it in person, it looks really good. You really have yeah, it's yeah. it's definitely one of those covers to see in person. Mm -hmm. Uh this one okay, so yeah, so now yeah, this is all back quarter bin. Yeah, this quarter one, bin. I don't really have a ton of Morbius stuff, but this cover just caught my eye. Like, the co the color on this is just so awesome looking. And it's, uh, I, don't, I don't know how well that comes across on the camera, but, like, in person, the colors on this thing is incredible. Like, it literally looks like the day it was printed. Uh, and yeah. it's Morbius uh, 19... Uh, Marvel Midnight Suns. I'm not uh, Morbius versus the Wraith. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it is like the standard A cover. It is first printing. Uh, Napolitano for the cover. Napolitano. Yeah. Uh, then there was uh, there was a couple Daredevils that we got in there, which I'm always stoked to find since I'm working on a Daredevil run. Uh, Two ninety four. Uh, by Lee Weeks. 
and 295, which side by side with the Ghost Rider by Lee Weeks as well. On on that one, and someone must have sold, had recently sold our LCS like some kind of Ghost Rider stuff. I think so because there was because that was there was this of, yeah. Because there was this, Enter Ghost Rider on Mark Spector Moon Knight 25, giant size issue from uh, 1991. Uh, Ghost Rider appearance in uh, Moon Knight. Mm -hmm. Which I'm always, I love coming across my favorite, uh, just my favorite characters in the quarter bin, you know, like anytime. Right. Like, uh, this was quarter bin, Batman 505. Uh, Doug Manch, Mike Manley. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's a Kelly Jones cover. Oh, uh, yeah, Batman 505. Just trying to keep working away on some older Batmans. Uh, Superman Man is still 29. This thing's like in killer condition still, too. Like the color on this one is still looks brand new. The glass print on that mm -hmm. uh x-men 2099 number two i think i think this is like the first x-men 29 2099 x-men i i've had i have i think uh 93 by ron Lim and adam kubert i i love a lot of the kubert family's work and ron mm -hmm. Lim and i i need to find i want to find x-men uh 2099 number one like and i've I passed on in the quarter band Punisher twenty ninety nine. Yeah. Number one Sorry. a couple times that I really kinda of wish I would have picked up. Yeah. Uh Punisher it's been a long day. I know. She's I don't know what the hell she's doing. Punisher Jordan. Origin and Microchip. Uh this is part two of two, so it was it was kinda of just like a little two issue thing, origin of micro microchip. And they didn't have number one, so I'm going to have to find, see if I can find number one out there somewhere. Mm. And I'm a huge Lady Mechanica fan, and I normally buy Lady Mechanica in trades, even though the recent run I did get in, in issue. But I was pretty stoked to find some in the quarter bin, because then these will just go up, these will just be wall books, these things will just go up on mm. on display somewhere with the... With, uh, some of my other Lady Mechanica stuff because it's such an awesome book and I I'm just obsessed with Joe Benitez's art in they are Lady Mechanica beautiful. and I love Lady they look Mechanica. incredible in trade too like yeah just with just how gorgeous uh, his books are especially in trade I love the art style of Lady Mechanica and the storyline is really good uh, the last two that we got from the quarter bin, we just had to get, so we'll be on the hunt here soon for one and three, since it, we had looked it up, it was a four issue, um, miniseries, but it's oh. Ultimate Electra, and we got issue two. I was really hoping I could find the other ones. Yep, so there's issue two, and then we got issue four. I really love the style, art, and color on these two books of the Ultimate Electra. So wait, when I looked this up, I can't remember, was was it four, was it a four or five issue? Four. It was just four? Mm-hmm. Okay. If I remember right. I might have to double check on that. So if it is just four, we just need one and three? Yeah. Yeah. Might have to double check. My memory is not what it used to be, but I think it was yeah, we, a four issue. We and ripped that, those quarter bins apart trying to find Mm -hmm. uh, if one and three was in there, but yeah. these ones are well, one and three will go on the hunt. We'll we'll find them eventually, but yeah, it's just it looks so good. Yeah, like, Ultimate Electra. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. I mean, Electra has always been one of my kind of like favorite female characters, but just recently, I've really, I've just really dove back into like like collecting a lot I of her stuff. So. Like, like right now, her, uh, what is it, Daredevil 168, I believe, so Electra's first appearance. Like, that one is, that one's pretty high on my list this year. Yes. For sure. Which I actually looked, looked for at my LCS because they actually had that. I saw that there one, one time and like... <laughs>
Oh, yeah. Rookie mistake again. I forgot to... Mute. Vibrate? Yeah. Right. I forgot to... Oops. Silent my uh, alerts. Oops. Yeah. Sorry, pal. I think that is everything. So then to the Jim Lee. Yes. To the Jim stuff, Lee. Right? Yes. Okay, so the and ones we took... We did get a picture that we'll probably post after. We just didn't get a chance to post it before. That's right. Yeah. So we did get a picture with them. We haven't... Yeah. What she just said. We haven't posted it yet, but as soon as we're done um, with the show, we will uh, we'll post it. Yeah. We haven't even posted our weekly hauls since, you know, that we got Wednesday anyways, because we didn't want to post it and then just talk about them again, you know, on the stream. So we'd rather have it, like, seen for the first time on stream and then post it later on Instagram, I guess. Yeah. All right, so the first one, uh, wild. So yeah, we we had a Wildcats number one. Uh, I mean, I, I I like when I was like when I was younger and stuff. Like I I've always been a fan of the Wildcats and stuff too. Fuchsia uh, was probably a, a bigger fan of them though. Yes, because I mean I I grew up. So that up was with one Wildcats. of her her choices for it. Yeah, this this is one that I I pitched in to, to get signed because I grew up to Wildcats and I love Wildcats and it just had to be done. And I had to take the gatefold edition of X-Men number one. Uh, this is one of my this is one of my favorite Jim Lee covers. Um, definitely like one of his like one of my favorite ones he did during his time on Marvel probably. Mm -hmm. Definitely for sure. Um, definitely one of his most iconic, really. Yes. The the people we, we met when we were waiting in line um, were act, was actually pretty stoked on my choice for this one. So this is the, the New 52 Action Comics number one. Uh, but this was the the Jim Lee variant to it because I think, I believe it was Rags Morales did the, did the A cover, did the standard cover. Um, from what I remember, yeah, and the gold looks so good with the the gold lettering up here. Mm -hmm. It and does. How it matches with it. Yeah, it does. This has always been like a Jim Lee cover I've always loved. Like, remember when? Remember when I found this one mm -hmm. uh, out in the wild? Like, I was so stoked when I found that book because I had found I had found the Rags Morales regular cover, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, and then uh, of course the uh, Jim Lee Batman Dan variant. This is actually the one that uh, Bueller sent. This is actually the one that I won from Bueller on his. Was it his November? I thought it was December. Maybe it was November. I think it we was didn't the, get it until yeah, December. Yeah, it might have been the end of November. Yeah, I think it was his November but... giveaway. I want to say December, but I think it was November. I'm not sure. November or December. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, so, yeah, so all in all, I mean, it was, uh, it was an awesome experience, you know, like meeting him. Because Jim Lee has always been one of my favorite artists. Uh, like like I told, you know, the, the couple that we met in line, mm -hmm. Jim Lee is, was, I mean, I still have a couple other creators I'd like to meet, but Jim Lee is one of my, was one of my, Almost one of my last ones, you know, to check to check out the bucket list, pretty much. But it was cool. Yeah, he's short. <laughs> he is. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting he him is. to be that short, but he he was nice. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, we we couldn't really like talk to him, kind of like I did with Jerry Duggan, like when I went to the Jerry yeah. Duggan signing. But because, uh, like we said, he was only there for an hour and a half, and the line was ridiculous. And like I said, we waited outside in the cold for like two hours. And there was people, there was a lot behind us. Like, we actually had a really pretty yeah. decent spot in the line, all things considering. By the time we got in and things were signed, it was already, like, 6 o'clock, and we had got in line at, like, 3.54. About two hours. Five. Well, a little six, over two, no. yeah. Well, because yeah. it was pretty much 4 to 6. So that's, yeah. like, two hours. Yeah. It was fun. But yeah, we'll post the pictures after 
And we just didn't get a chance to post them before. Hey, Genome, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. Hello. Uh, yeah, we're, we're probably, uh, yeah, we should wrap it up here um, mm -hmm. pretty soon. Because, yeah, that was everything. We did, uh, did our mail call and our new comic book day pickups from earlier this week. Our quarter bins that we, we had, we had a pretty big quarter bin haul this week. It was our. We did. It was a big haul. It was yeah. our first time. Uh, Hello. It was our first time doing that. Hi. Is that D? Oh yeah. Oh, Discovery Comic. Yeah, Discovery Bay. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by, uh, Discovery. Thanks. Hope you have a good night. Have a good weekend. I'm hoping that we that we're getting off in enough time to catch the hunt. I don't know if they've gone live yet. That might have been the notification I actually got, but there's a good chance. We're trying not to to air the same time as other shows because we want we want to watch those other shows too. So yeah. Yeah, we're still trying to get our scheduling down, like when our shows will be and stuff. Cause, but yeah, we don't want to interfere with other, uh, like weekly shows and stuff. Uh, yeah, cause like yeah, we know Bueller's on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, the hunt, I believe the hunt, yeah, is usually like Friday nights a little bit later. Uh, Wednesdays is like New Comic Book Day, but that's also Lords of Longbox and Comic Con. And the thing is, sometimes we don't get our new, our, our new comic book day books until Thursday sometimes, so... Yeah. And then by the time when we get home after work and then after the LCS, it's like too late to do this, you know? So That's it's like true. Thursdays are kind of... There's Saturdays. There is Saturdays that we Saturday might be afternoon. Have, maybe, maybe like Saturday... Yeah, early Saturday afternoons, maybe. They give us enough time Somewhere. to actually read them and... Give a spoiler-free yeah. review. Yeah. Maybe we'll... we're It's still the works. Yeah, I am really stoked on this. I am... It is a... Uh, I am a little bummed a little bit that that got dinged a little bit and during shipping, but... Other than that, like, I mean, yeah, it's fine. And I'm, yeah. I'm stoked for that. I mean, I, I mean, I'm collecting, you know, the full spawn, spawn run, working on the full spawn run in singles, but... Um, this will be all the reader. It it looks awesome in black and white too. It does look awesome in black and white. Like it's pretty cool that they collected it like that. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, I'm stoked on it. See, and it, since it's one through fifty, I wonder if they have come out with the second one yet. I would think so by now, you know, because maybe. No, yeah, they definitely have because I think the newest spawn was like two. Was it two ninety seven or something? You, you I don't know. know. You would know. Yeah. You would know. Something like that. But something along those lines. Yeah. Um I don't know why it does the refocus so much. I know. Yeah. And no, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we needed to add. Um, like anything like with our show or that we were trying to To be continued. It is in the works. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Oh, no, that that's what I'm thinking of. We are planning on watching Venom. Finally. Sometime this weekend. Yeah, yes. so so you'll finally get our, our thoughts on Venom. Because, yeah, we slept on it when it was in the theater. Never saw it. We bought it. Like, we have it. We've had it for, like, a couple mm -hmm. weeks. And just still just haven't seen it yet. But. Yeah, it's been about two weeks. Yeah. yeah. So we'll probably maybe... watch it tomorrow or Sunday. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll watch it. Yeah, sometime this weekend and then yeah, Saturday or have Sunday. a little have a little review we'll show at some point. We'll see. Something like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out, for watching this. Uh, if you're watching the playback as well. Um, thank you for stopping by and saying hi and to see that I am awake this time of the evening. Yeah, New Year's was... Uh, There's uh, always next year. I can't believe you passed out at like 6.30. I got up at like 6 that day though too, so... I do every day. Even on weekends when I try not to. I'll still be up by four or five. But I'm not you. It sucks. I got like narcolepsy. I can sleep through anything. I know you can. I am such a deep sleeper. Like tired heads me like a ton of bricks sometimes. It's yeah, it's rough. It's ridiculous. I, I wish I didn't sleep so much, but it happens. Alright. Uh, but yeah, you could stay uh yeah. anyways. Yeah, stay up to date with everything. You can follow us on uh, Instagram, we'll have links to everything down below in the description. 
maybe, I think, I don't know. I need to add them in later since it's a live one. Or something. I can't remember how it works. I don't know, I'm okay. starting to get delirious now, damn it, and I want to read. I don't want, I don't want to be tired already, but... It happens to the best of us. Yeah, I fall asleep reading all the time. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, have a good night, we'll see Thank you later. Thank you guys, have a good weekend.